Okay. Hello everybody, Dr. Rick Wallace here dropping in on you. Hope everybody is having a great day. Look, uh, I'm coming to you. It's midday here in Houston, just uh, slightly after noon. And I decided that I was going to record this video versus doing a live stream uh, because I'm not sure what's going to pop off at any moment uh, based on some of the things that I'm expecting. But I wanted to do this video because it really is tugging at my heart and my passion. Those of you who have followed me for any stretch of time know that I'm extremely passionate about black love. Uh, the importance of the black family, uh, you know, obviously marriage within the black community. Uh, out of the 23 books, oh, 24 now, that I've written and published, uh, two are specifically designated towards black marriage, all deal with in some way, shape, form, or fashion, black love, black family. Um, and, you know, we have to understand the importance of marriage and the role that it plays. I have studied marriage um, dating back centuries, uh, millenniums actually, and understanding the emphatic uh, impact that it has on society and the direction that it takes. What I can tell you is in studying marriage that the moment that enough people within society of any particular nation or country or group, the moment that enough people spurn the idea of marriage, covenant, and commitment, moral decline takes place and antinomianism becomes the way of order, which is absolutely no order and people wonder what happens to the decline. How did this collapse? How did this empire fall? Is that when you don't have marriage, you don't have the ability to formulate the foundation to underwrite uh, the important institution. Marriage is an institution of itself, but the institution of family is underwritten by the institution of marriage. It is very difficult to sustain a central uh, family a nuclear family without there being some form of a committed and covenantal relationship that locks two of the foundational at least two of the foundational partners into place and when you disrespect it when you disregard it when you push it to the side by way of new uh new age or new way thinking or the idea of um nihilism and so many other uh, self-serving uh, worldviews, uh, those worldviews that allow you to be self-serving, uh, individualism uh, and selfishness takes place. When you talk about individualism, it's not about the collective, it's not about the whole, it's about what I want, what makes me feel good. And all the time, you are being a disruptive force to the collective and we are social creatures by nature all mammals are social creatures and when you don't know how to operate within the social collective when you don't know how to operate pro-socially then you are now a detriment to the collective and that's what we're doing we're literally a detriment to ourselves because we have spurned marriage and i'm saying this because I saw a post that a lot of people are biting on because they don't understand the machinations of the enemy and how the enemy works and that many times the enemy will work through the voice and the presentation of those who look like us. I have said this many times that the greatest threat to black progress is a black person with a white agenda. And a lot of times uh, they are working without ever realizing that their agenda is centralized in white progress, white power, white wealth, and it does not serve their community at all. 
but they push it they talk about it and they share it and because they have some platform or some form of celebrity what they speak and what they share has weight michael Bayesden shared something i want to say it was yesterday but i saw it yesterday whether it was before or not and i watched a lot of people thank god there were some brothers that came there and stood up and spoke um and some sisters but uh he said that he doesn't understand why uh women black women don't realize that monogamy best serves black men and not really them that it is better for them not to be committed to one man but to be able to have access to multiple men uh because it it helps them they're able to seek the help they need uh from multiple sources and i'm i'm paraphrasing it uh from multiple sources and it, it opens them up to the help and the support they need outside of a thing and the thing is that mindset doesn't support family unless the three or four men that he's advocating that women tap into now keep in mind uh if we're talking about a pro-black collective if we're talking about a black enclave then some of these women if they're tapping into multiple men are ta some of these women are tapping into the same men so now we are really skewing the idea of commitment and synergy see family marriage is about the merging of feminine energy and masculine energy the merging of the masculine the predominant masculine energy of a man and the predominant fem feminine energy of the woman to create what we call synergy which is simply the sinking of at least two forms of energy to create a force that is greater than either form of the energy commit could create in and of themselves it creates this force that is greater it is one of the most feared things among those outside of our race is the synergy that we have the capacity to create with one another that's why the black family has been under such a great assault over time is that if we can convince them that they don't need each other if we can convince them that they're enemies if we can convince them to start an argument about who's the prize in the relationship the man or the female who has uh the high value in the relationship who is the one that should be viewed as see true marriage and true black love isn't about who who's the prize and who isn't it's about the partnership not the prize it's about the collectiveness it's about the connectivity it's about the unity and why is it so important why because in order to build a strong nation of people you have to have an ability to inculcate the values, interests, and principles of that people into the next generation. And the problem that we've had for years is that we have not been able to successfully inculcate the values, uh, values, interests, and principles that can create a strong, powerful, and autonomous collective into the next generation. And it has become a declining return. Why? because the family nucleus has fallen apart has disintegrated it is within the family that you teach young children the values interests and principles that will serve them well long after they become adults it's inculcated into their minds in the first seven years of their life why because in the first seven years of their life they're in a state known as theta almost all the time it is a state in which they are literally being downloaded with information and data and paradigms which they form their beliefs, they form their ideals, they form their principles, they form their purpose. And in that time, it is the parents predominantly as the primary label givers that provide them with this data and this information. Now, over time, can it be changed? Yes. So can a child have a bad start and still do well? Yes. But the odds are against them. And so what do we do? we have to sit up and protect the family and i know right now there's this big divide and uh it's not by accident black women are are, are are blaming black men and black men are blaming black women uh degrading and attacking and everybody's the enemy right and it's plenty of reasons and ways to look at things and see yeah they're doing this and yeah they're doing that but what we aren't seeing is that the vast predominance of black men aren't running to white women 
88% of black married men are married to black women. Uh, do we have an issue in that when it comes to black men who come into money? Hold on, sorry about this. And that is an ongoing thing. You know, they're doing this, they're doing that. And they always show us the worst of the worst of our alternative self. Uh, they always present black men in the worst light so that black women have this reinforced idea of who we are based on the negative experience they probably had with a black man along with what they're consistently presented in the image. They either see us presented in highly feminine manners, something they're not attracted to, something they will not uh, uh, move into and merge into. They might like you, they might be friends with you, but they'll never truly ever follow you. And then uh, they see us as violent, hostile manipulators. They, they show the worst of us and then they look at it and they say, yeah, that's what I grew up with. And every man is like that. And so now there's this hatred. Black men the same way. We're blaming the black woman for all of the issues that are going. We're blaming the black woman for the moist black boys that are growing up to be moist black men. When the truth of the matter is they needed a black man present to show them how to be a man. And we can blame whoever we want to blame for us not being there. But at some point, you have to take the reins of your life, the personal sovereignty of yourself and say, this is where I belong. This is where I'm going to establish my roots. This is where I am going to make my presence felt. No, they don't want me there. No, they're not happy that I'm there. But this is where I'm going to set up. Why? Because it's my ordained responsibility as a black man to rise up and make my presence felt in my home, in my community. And I need to have a direct connection with the woman because there are just certain things she's built to do that I'm not. And the woman has to look and understand there are certain things he's built to do that I'm not. If I want balanced children, I need a balanced environment in which to raise them. We can talk all day long about what's this. I don't need a man. I ain't finna sit around and get tied down with a woman. We can talk all that all day long. But at the end of the day, I'm telling you, thousands and thousands of years of data tell me that the more we do that, the worse off we become. You can literally follow the decline of the black family and match it with the decline of black progress and i'm telling you if we don't switch it if we don't change it if we don't stop letting people whisper this bull crap in our ear that sounds good on the individual level who doesn't want to be in a situation where i'm not really accountable i can just go around cherry picking what i want from different places i can just go around and say i'm gonna hit that and then i'm gonna move on no 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 strings attached yeah that sounds good to an individual who's not really clicked in and plugged into his responsibility in his community but when you understand what your responsibility or as male and female, you understand that there has to be a greater deal of responsibility and accountability of how we carry ourselves and how we treat one another. You can't, uh, it has been said by Malcolm X and a couple of others that you can determine or ascertain the state of any nation by how its men treat its women. I agree, but you can also ascertain the state of a nation by how well in tune their women are with their own selves and their responsibility and how well they respect and revere their men. It's just the way it is. Everybody's got to stop fighting for prominence. Nobody's the prize. You're partners. You're coming into this together. You, now, each person should look at their mate and feel like they won, okay, I got the prize. But at the end of the day, it's about being partners. It's about connecting and building something that the two of you can't build at the same rate, level, and power, and force as individuals. We've got to get into that. Look, I'm going to get ready to get off here, but I had to address that. I'm just sitting up and I'm looking at how many people buy into it. Why? Because you sit up and you tell a woman, you, you're getting got with this monogamy thing. Look what you could be doing if you didn't, if you weren't monogamous. Now there are a lot of issues within monogamy that we are need we need to deal with, and we need to, you know. And one of the things is once you connect with a man, you can't get help again. Well, we we need to deal with that. See, the way that I deal with it is, my daughters who are married can't come to me about anything they need in the house that I'm capable of providing. You know who has to come to me? 
my son-in-law. Why? Because he's being held responsible for what happens in that house. That's just how it is. You can say what you want to say. Something goes in that house, something don't get paid. I don't care what the, the makeup of the house is, the man's going to get the, uh, the blame for it. Well, if you're being responsible for taking care of my daughter, then you need to be the one to come to me. Because when it gets fixed, it needs to be fixed through you, not her. Because the moment she's allowed to come to me and I fix it for her, I undermine you. No man should be fixing something in your house without you being the person that he's doing it through. Now, I agree. We need to do a better job as men is being there for everyone, every other man. It's too many of us out on an island trying to figure this thing out on our own because we've been told that real men don't need help. Real men don't need to... Uh, to, to, to get help from anyone. So you're out there on that island trying to do it by yourself and your enemies are working together in cahoots with one another. Even when they don't like each other, they're working together to, in order to keep you back, keep you down and keep themselves up while you're out there trying to do it by yourself and feeling frustrated, feeling down and sometimes questioning who you are and what you're capable of because you can't do it by yourself. We're social creatures. I've already told you that. We weren't meant to do it by ourselves. We were meant to come in together, plug into one another, in, 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 uh, inspire, encourage, and empower one another and to stand together. Nobody should be out there trying to figure it out alone. Another black man should go to him. If you got a black man, woman, you aren't supposed to be going to another black man asking for help. He is. There are so many different social malfunctions that take place with the type of philosophy that that idiot was spewing. Was spewing. But I had to just come and touch the basics of it. You're talking about social disruption, social decline, social malfunction. All of this stuff is happening because of people spewing out toxic uh, remedies based off of lethargic thinking at best without looking at the outcome. Um, on that note, look, I'm going to get out of here. Hopefully, um, you are getting something out of this. Uh, hopefully, I delivered it in a way that you could. Uh, I'm going to get out of here uh, again. Don't forget to show your love and support by supporting the work we do at the Odyssey Project. Look in the description box and uh, the way that you can show your love for us via uh, donation on the site, a link, or through our Cash App uh, account. Show some love so that we can keep doing what we're doing. On that note, I'm out of here. And peace. And with a little special announcement for those who have followed me for any stretch of time. You know, outside of the businesses that I run, like Myriad Business Solutions, the Visionetics Institute, Odyssey Media Group, I also do a great deal of work inside of the inner city communities uh, in Houston, Dallas, and other areas. Uh, I'm asking now as we push a fundraiser that you support what the Odyssey Project is doing in the inner cities, uh, especially with programs like Black Men Lead, which is a rite of passage uh, initiative and Restoring Ghetto for, Ghetto's Forgotten Daughters, which is a program focused on helping young girls, but boys as well, suffering from childhood sexual abuse, uh, rape, molestation, domestic abuse, uh, absentee fatherhood, and so many other things. Uh, the information will be in the box. Thank you. Jay, people talk Real about talk, it, I ain't throwing shots. All of the elements.